See, these puppies belong to Paris. Paris and Bear. Standard Golden Doodles. We have a whiny puppy under the floor dryer in the next room, in the grooming room. But, so, um, that one there with the aqua ribbon. Prowler. This is Proton. Proton was claimed by the person who has first pick, so he was the first one to be claimed. And that's Prowler. The red ribbon there. Paxton. And under my chair, the one that was saying, hey, play with me. Pawnee. That's Pawnee. He's a playful little baby, isn't he? Bonnie. Hi, not to ignore you, right? Right, Paxton? Yeah. You're too, Proton. Oh, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's Prowler. their new owner that's their uh favorite pastime is following you around you're in the living room they go in the living room you go out to the kitchen they go out to the kitchen heck my dogs if i go even take a shower they're waiting outside the bathroom door for me so the orange ribbon here pawnee packs that's a proton there <laughs> you playful little boy And that's play, that's not aggression. That's just puppy play. That's each that's how they teach each other too when it's too much because if they uh see they were chewing on them and they you know chew too hard, they will cry and bite and then they'll walk off. So they actually you know that's good interaction. Yes. <laughs> Your buddy. He's a uh, they teach each other limits that way. <laughs> Look at that one's trying to play with you. Rowan, is he wanting to play with you? His name's Pawnee. Yes. And oh, there's another one up behind you. The prowler. Look at Prowler. Man, what a good stance. I love that you stand square like that. You too. So, uh, truthfully, I can't tell you one act's different than another in personality. They all want to play with my granddaughter, Rowan. She's... They're all, uh, they're all playful. So the biggest two are Proton and Prowler there with the Aqua Ribbon. They they are, you know, six pounds, 10 ounces, six pounds, 11 ounces. So really close there as far as if you want a bigger puppy. <laughs> and then that one's a little smaller. By just a hair, I mean, they're, we're talking six pounds, two ounces, so a half pound difference. Oh. Aw, 
I love it when they lay like a frog. That means they have good hip structure. And that was Paxton. If you see a dog that can't like sit straight like he just did, you know, they sit with their legs stretched out to the side or they sit sideways, that means that uh, they're favoring a hip, so they have a hip issue. Somebody's cleaning out there, isn't they? Is that Umpy Abby? Is that your Aunt Abby? Is she cleaning? the ball. Go get that ball. Oh, you're going to come out and play too, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah? You need attention? You got the light green eyes, too. Some of these, you'll see, they're going to have a... There was only one that really looked like he was going to have brown eyes. The rest all look like they're going to have green eyes. You're one that looks like you're going to have green eyes. Oh, would you want to play? Are you trying to get me to rub your belly? Oh, my gosh. Pawnee. Look at this. He's already to get, lay down and give me a belly rub. Oh, look at it. He wants a belly rub. Be ready like your belly rubs. Oh, silly litter. And Prowler, you're down there, too. What's the matter? What's the matter, Sissy? Look how cute you are. Well, you need some attention, too. Did you hear belly rub? Oh, yeah, they have a little belly rub. Oh, look, I lift his leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the red, that's Paxton. Oh. Yeah, you guys are just learning to bark. You're barking. You want attention? And uh, he curls his tail up, too. So that's Paxton. I like the way you curl your tail up. Which one of these did I think had more of the dark brown? Oh, that one's definitely got light green eyes. And, uh, see, was it you? No, it's green eyes. You got green eyes, too. Come here, is it you? Maybe you with your darker red. Yeah, I think that one's the only, only one that looked like it's going to have brown eyes. The rest look like they're green. So that was Prowler probably with the brown eyes. <laughs> Are you in the dog bed? You got the bed? He wants to play, huh? He wants to play. See, Rowan's a great trainer. She teaches the puppies not to jump on her. because She knows how to tell them to stay down. So as you see, they come up and they bark for attention or, you know, they paw at her, baby for attention, but they do not jump on her. Look at it, Paul. He wants attention. He wants you to play with him. all points toward uh, being perfect like therapy dogs and uh, working class dogs so even if I had to pick a working class dog out of this litter to be therapy work or, or any type of assisted living work any of them would be good it'd be perfect you like the way he holds his tail up with <laughs> the red one that's Paxton with the red ribbon 
like proton over their heads, his tail holding it straight up. So whenever they get to be adults and they get all furry, it just looks like a big old fan. It's like their tails fanning out. So the yellow bags there, that those are gift bags. So each puppy comes already microchipped. That's prepaid for the tracking service. Uh, when you take the puppy home, I give you the instructions how to register that. And then vitamin samples, 30 days insurance, but you also get a blanket, a ball, a doorbell, small a small chew, uh, chew toy like these on the floor and then uh, the stuffed animal small stuffed animal large stuffed animal right now we got these nice little ponies which I think it's the texture of the fur the puppies seem to love it and uh, the Yukonuba instruction packet and then of course you get your vet detailed record to give to your vet I know I pulled your ribbon back so we could see your red marker easily. You used to wearing a collar, right, boy? Um, so you, they go home with like a, it's a leash lead. It's called a lead. It's a leash and a, like a choker collar type thing, which is great because say uh, you're taking the puppy home and you're giving them a walk along the way and a car came along and he got spooked or anything they if they would back up they can't easily pull their head through like a collar they don't have long tight enough where the uh where the leads it's it's a showroom or showroom <laughs> it's what they use in the show ring too to control the dogs because if anything would happen they could pull them back Because a collar on a puppy, if they truly wanted to get, or even an adult dog, if there was a reason they wanted to get out of it, they will squirm hard enough and pull themselves off their, uh, out of the collar. So when you put a collar on a dog, you should only be able to get two fingers under it. And you got to make sure they could, there's no way it could fit over their ears just to uh, pull their head through it. Puppies also go home with a bag of a sample bag of the Purina puppy chicken flavor. It is, according to the veterinarians, the number one brand. And it's voted the number one brand for puppies because it's also easily found across the country. Because some of these uh, breeders put them on some kind of specialty food that you have to order and you know, I like to just give you something you can go to a store and buy that, you know, easily accessible to everyone without having to change your diet. Are you guys getting tired? You gonna find a quiet place to nap or not? No? starting to uh, find places to lay down and relax. Are they getting tired? Do you want to play long enough? Okay. You're tired too? Yeah. Okay, say bye-bye.